Alright, welcome to Gaming with Dan, and we're playing a game called Worlds of Billy. Now, this game is also called Drilling Billy, but for obvious reasons, we're just going to call it Worlds of Billy. This game was made, I believe, in Norway, and they have some different slang than we do. So, uh, yeah. We're, we're not gonna comment on, on that. Just, just for Norway's sake. <laughs> but anyways, this is a really old school game. It started, I think, in 1997. I played it myself in the late 90s as a kid. And it's still one of my favorite games to this day because it's just so relaxing to play. It, it almost has a Pac-Man kind of feel because you're following pathways and as you play the game and you get more skilled to it you kind of get a feel for you know which way you should go or like what path you should take and it's kind of a, a neat thing because over time it just becomes kind of like a reflex and and you get like this connection with the game to where it just it feels right and you just kind of know what to do. Um, at first, when you first play this game, it's you feel really clumsy, but it gets better over time. And another thing, before I forget, is I want to mention that if I do post this to YouTube, I will put a link in the description to where you can download this game for free um legally because the game manufacturer actually put it out for free downloads all right when you get these bombs part of the strategy that you want to have is you want to know where your enemy is going so you kind of want to get a feel for their movement pattern or at least when you walk somewhere yeah, see, like, he was red heading right for me, and they don't typically turn around unless it's by a ladder or the edge. So you kind of want to trap them. Because, you know, you can run out of bombs. In one of the later levels, I'll hopefully get a, um, a jackhammer, which will help me to go a lot faster than the bombs. I'll grab that red potion in a second so you can see what it does. I also got a rainbow just then. Hopefully, I won't need it, but when you have the rainbow, it's kind of like a free um, one-time use shield in case you die. Yeah, these little flowers don't really do much but give you points. and I try not to risk my life to get points, but... You know, it is fun if you want to beat that high score and you want to get, you know, more points. But I think ultimately the items are the better choice because then, like you see this tennis ball, it actually serves a function. It, you know, kills the bananas. When we face stronger enemies, it'll just push them. But if you push your enemy off the ledge, then you can get a kill. Um... I'll explain more on that later when we see different types of enemies. Like, this might be a good way to example. A good way to example it. Yeah, that was great grammar there, Dan. Way to go, me. Anyways, you can push him off the edge. Nope, almost. I'll just get this guy with a bomb. There's more bombs over there. But some of these enemies, like, they're stronger. So if you try to push them over the edge, or you, they either won't go, or it'll take a fall to kill them rather than just getting hit by a tennis ball. See, just like that. There we go. Hopefully I can get this bomb in time. And I want to say there's a secret passage. Yep. That's another thing about this game is you kind of memorize the... The secret passages and all these special stages where you can get cool items. 
I really wish there was a, a guide for it. I mean, I don't know if I've discovered every single um, special item in the game or not, but I'll definitely point out as many as I can find. And hey, maybe this will drum up interest for other people who want to download the game and learn of its secrets. Alright, so get this thundercloud. Eh, I missed. I think another one shows up in a box later, if I recall correctly. Okay. No, but I did get extra time for the level. Yeah, that meter up at the... The top left corner. If that fills up with red, you get kind of like an extra obstacle. For the jungle, it's bees, and I really don't want bees to be chasing me around while I'm trying to kill these enemies, so. I'm going to try and be as efficient as I possibly can. Right. Knock that pumpkin over. These little wands here, what they do is they create a, um, a magic ladder. And they're not useful right now, but as the levels progress, there are some places where you might get stuck. And those little ladders just come in super handy. Because sometimes you'll be in a position where... Can I make it? Dang. At least I got my tennis ball back. But you'll be in a position where you're stuck and you can't move and you can't do anything. And so it's basically you lose a life because you got to reset the level. And when you die, you lose all your items that aren't permanent. So if you have, like if you look at the, at the top, I have that ring and it has that letter P on it for permanent. I won't lose that as I continue to progress in the game. But the bombs will go away, that tennis shoe that makes me run faster will go away. And you just kind of have to earn everything back, which is a pain. Alright. I think there's a tennis ball in one of these crates. And and usually my predictions are right, not to not to brag or anything, but I've been playing this game since 1999, so... My predictions are are usually right. I haven't played this game in about a year, but everything is is just stuck in my brain really well. So I'm I'm confident in my abilities, you know, and and I think that's kind of a an interesting thought. I I know so many people who are overconfident, and so many people who don't give themselves enough credit, and I think people people should recognize their skills, but also they should give themselves a break. You know, it, it's a nice healthy balance that not a lot of people seem to have these days, and mm, maybe as my generation matures, we'll see an improvement there. I, I want to say this is the last level, or like the next to last level. Hope I don't get stung by a bee. There we go. Alright, yeah, that is the last level. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right now because I don't want it to trail on too long. If you like this um, segment, then please stay tuned for another video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.